Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I've got an awesome way of creating 3D text within Figma. So if that's what you'd like to learn here today, follow me and let's get straight into it. So the first thing we need to do for 3D text creation is to create some text. So let's type in some 3D text here and let's just resize this. I think that looks good. Let's move it to the center. And the first thing we're going to do up over here, we're going to go to our resources tab and we're going to go to plugins and you want to type in oblique. All right. Now, once you click on it, you'll be able to click on run and it will add it to your Figma. And from here, you'll see this little icon pop up. Now, this is where you get to change the properties of your text. So there's a rotation. And then there's also a projection. So let's say the projection is five. So you put your value in and you say project. And as you can see, it's changed that. OK, now let's change the angle. Let's say we want to make this 10. You can see again that that's changed that angle. Let's make it 100. See how it's changed that. So when you are sort of busy with this, you, you've got to understand where it's actually working from. So 45 will be that way. 90 will be that way. 180, it'll be that way. And so you can start playing around with this. OK, another way of doing this is actually clicking down and using your mouse to scroll left and right while you're holding in your click to see how it looks in real time. So we can make this projection just a little bit more so we can see what's going on here. And in terms of customizing this, you can see over here there is the wireframe strokes. You can just toggle that on and off and then the faces. All right. So let us change the color so we can see what we're working with here. So this is red and we're going to keep this green. Let's make it green. All right. And you just select it there and you'll see that's what that part is. And this part here, that's what that part is. Now, the text itself, if you go out of here, let's just close this and you go to full. You can see that that's the full. OK, so you can now start to change what the full actually looks like. And if you go up to the top here, you can use a gradient and uh, you can completely customize the color of the text. But now you've got your 3D text. And if you want to go in there again, you're just going to go up over here again and open that oblique and make sure that your text is selected so that you know which text you're actually changing into 3D.